I'm Paul Riario, and today we're taking a closer look at the Crybaby Wawa line. I'm at the Dunlop headquarters in California to find out what makes each one of these unique. They all look pretty similar, and they all go waka waka, but they all have distinct voicings and features to address each player's needs. Here, we're taking a look at several wahs in the Crybaby line that can best be described as vintage voiced wahs. The Crybaby has been around since 1967, and after 40 plus years, the term vintage can describe more than one sound. It can also include looks and circuitry. We've chosen three wahs from the line to illustrate these aspects, the GCB95, the Clyde McCoy, and the new Crybaby Mini. Let's begin with what has become known as the benchmark standard in WAS, the GCB95 Crybaby. This version has been around since 1982, has a late vintage tone, and is most widely known of the entire line. It's straightforward and easy to use with a tone that lends itself to any genre or playing style. Toe down to accentuate the high end, heel down for the low end, and a standard on off switch. That's the GCB 95. Now let's take a look at the Clyde McCoy Crybaby. Dunlop decided to make this pedal because they wanted to provide players with an authoritatively accurate recreation of the very first wah pedal with modern tweaks. The heart of any wah pedal is its inductor. Like the very first wah pedals made by the Thomas Organ Company and Gen Electronica, this pedal is equipped with a halo inductor. This type of inductor is responsible for the unique expressive vocal character of the original Clyde McCoy wahs. One problem with the original Halo inductors was an unstable cup core that had a tendency to pick up a ton of microphonic noise. Dunlop's engineers built their own Halo inductor from scratch with a stabilized cup core to minimize that microphonic noise so you get that classic Clyde McCoy wail in a more reliable form. Now let's look at the Crybaby Mini Wah. This Wah is half the size of a Crybaby and is still built like a tank. It's perfect for your mini pedal board and on top of that, it's got a Fazell inductor with three different voices, GCB95, Vintage, and Low. Essentially, those are high, middle, and low frequency centers. So in one pedal, you basically get the full range of vintage Wah tone. To change the voicing, just remove the bottom plate.
Not all crybabies sound the same, so it's important to find a vintage voice model that fits your style. Be sure to look at the other videos on signature and multifunctional WAS.